गाइस एंड वेलकम टू टुडे इज वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू ड्रॉ बॉन्ड लाइन डायग्राम्स बट बिफोर वी डू दैट आई वुड लाइक टू एड्रेस अबाउट अ पॉइंट दैट आई गॉट मेनी रिक्वेस्ट्स फ्रॉम पीपल हु वांटेड द वीडियोस टू बी इन इंग्लिश नाउ माय गोल फॉर दिस वीडियो सीरीज वाज टू प्रोवाइड दिस लाइक दीज लेक्चर्स इन हिंदी बट व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू नाउ इज दैट देयर विल बी टू वर्जनस of these videos one will be in english and the other will be in hindi and then you can pick which one you want to use and then learn from it okay right now let's get back to drawing the bond line diagrams so our goal for this lecture is that we want to be able to convert something like this ch3 ch2 ch2 cl into a line diagram like this so we want to be able to draw from this condensed formula or complete formula to a line diagram so let's see what are the rules that will help us do that the first rule is when drawing the bond line diagrams you do not draw carbon and hydrogen atoms which are attached to carbon which are attached to carbon what this means is that first you will not draw the carbon atoms and also you will not draw those hydrogen atoms which are attached to carbon atoms for example if we take a structure like ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 then because in this formula there are only carbon and hydrogen atoms we will not draw these atoms what we will do is we will draw a zigzag line like this each corner of this line will contain a carbon atom so a carbon atom is present here at this corner and here and finally here so you can see that there are four carbon atoms in this formula and therefore in our zigzag line we have 1 2 3 and 4 carbon atoms so what you do is you do not draw the carbon and hydrogen atoms and you represent this structure with a zig zag line and zig zag means draw something like this okay right now let's take some examples that deal with the same concept for example we have ch3 ch2 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 ch3 now we want to draw the bond line diagram for this so let's first count the number of carbon atoms in the structure and you can see that we have 1 2 3 4 5 so our zigzag line should contain five corners and let's draw it 1 2 3 4 5 that simple it is to draw a bond line diagram what about if we have an alkene CH3 CH double bond CH2 the structure is not difficult to draw you first draw the carbon chain containing three carbon atoms and then put a double line like this to represent that it's an alkene and if the molecule contains branching for example something like this CH CH3 CH3 it is not difficult to draw the structure you first count the number of carbon atoms in the parent chain you can see that there are four carbon atoms in the chain and there is one carbon atom to the side so you first draw the parent chain like this and then you can see that from the third carbon we have a branch which contains one carbon so we draw a line like this and this is the bond line diagram for this structure 
right okay so now let's move on to the rule number 2 what is the second rule that we need to keep in mind when drawing the bond line diagrams and that second rule is you draw all the atoms other than carbon and hydrogen other than C and H for example if your compound contains an oxygen atom or a nitrogen atom or chlorine you have to draw those let's take an example we have CH3 C double bond O CH3 now this is known as acetone we will learn about this more as we progress through the lectures but for now this is the structure of acetone and if we want to convert it to its bond line formula we begin as we did for the alkanes we count the carbon atoms in the chain we have three so we draw that structure and now on the second carbon atom we have a double bond O so we draw it like this and because oxygen is not a carbon or hydrogen therefore it must be drawn and so we draw the oxygen atom let's take another example if we have CH3 CH2 CH2 Cl once again chlorine is not a carbon or hydrogen atom so we will so we will draw it and therefore we have the structure like 1 2 3 and to the corner carbon we have a chlorine atom so we will draw a chlorine like this okay all right let's look at the third and the final rule for drawing bond line diagrams so the third rule states that you draw the hydrogen atoms you draw H atoms if they are not connected to carbon if they are not connected to carbon connected to carbon okay now what this means is that if we have something like CH3 CH2 CH2 OH so look at this hydrogen atom it is connected to an oxygen it is not connected to a carbon so we will draw that hydrogen in our structures and so our formula for this compound will be one two three carbons and therefore we will draw a structure like this and then finally we will add an oxygen because oxygen must be drawn and then attach the hydrogen because this hydrogen is not attached to the carbon atoms so this is the bond line diagram for propanol we will learn how to name these compounds very soon so don't you worry about that so guys this is how you draw bond line diagrams i hope you liked the video and you learned from it in the next video we will start learning the general organic chemistry till then see you